All right, guys, today I'm going to be explaining um, issues or how to troubleshoot issues that you're having with your, your big dog pet water filter or water cleaner filter bowl, whatever you want to call this. Um, these things are relatively expensive. They usually run like 90 bucks to 100 bucks, depending on where you get it. Uh, you can probably find them cheaper online than in the pet store, but uh, general rule of thumb is like you don't want to have to replace one of these. Just because it's it's kind of a big purchase for as far as like a watering bowl goes. Um, so anyway, the issues that you are probably running into is that the pumps plug or the the filters plugged in, but it's not pumping any water out of here. The pump's not making any noise and it's not doing anything. Um, chances are it's just clogged. Uh, general maintenance on this, you're supposed to clean it every couple of weeks. Uh, you you empty all the water out. Take this off. Uh, clean the filter out. I usually bang this against the tub a couple of times just to make sure it gets any filth out of there. Um, but I think this uses like a some sort of carbon filter or something like that. You can hear there's like rocks or something in there. Um, and so you'll see a bunch of black water come out. That's it might be dirt. I don't know. It's but it's probably chances are it's just water that's been stained from the filter. Um, depending on how late you know how frequently you clean this. Hopefully it's not that dirty. Uh, so anyway. The issue with the pump, if you turn this upside down, uh, you're probably familiar when cleaning, you don't want to get this wet. Uh, and if you want to avoid getting it wet while you're cleaning, you can also do this step. But if this just isn't working, it's not going to make a noise. And I'll explain why. Um, <clears throat> so what you do to remove this and to test if, or to, to see why it might not be working, you just turn it clockwise, quarter turn, right, until this this fat part is kind of facing the top or facing towards you and then you just pull out and here's your pump so this is pretty simple this is just like an electromagnet right here and then this has this is your fan with your pump that's got little fins on it that actually pump the water so as this spins you know it pushes water through uh, this side just has a magnet on that's why you saw me struggle to get it out of here uh, so all that's in there is just a little pin to keep this guided properly. And when, <clears throat> when electric current is brought through here, it creates an electromagnetic field that, you know, it has a different pole from this magnet. So it causes this to spin all the, all the time. Um, and so that's why it doesn't make noise. If it's, if it's not working, chances are this fin is just dirty. Uh, we had an issue with this. We almost bought a new one and it turned out there was just hair built up on these fins. Um, once you take that out, you clean that off, clean the hair off, and you're all set. Now, the reason it doesn't make noise is because there's no gears on here. A lot of water pumps that you'll hear, if they're running dry or something, you'll hear like, like a, a loud noise that's, um, that's the pump trying to pump water through, but there's nothing in there. Uh, but because of the way that this one works, it's not going to make a noise, so it, it won't really tell you that it's not working, but you'll be able to see the fact that it's not you know, there's no water coming out. So all you gotta do is clean that off. You can slide it back in there. And then, it's just the reverse from the beginning. You push this in. Turn it a quarter turn counterclockwise. And then it'll lock it in place. Now you don't wanna get this wet. Or if you can avoid getting it wet, that's, that's better. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the gist of it. That might save you from spending $100 on another one of these when really all it needs is just to be cleaned out. So, uh, um, also to test that beforehand, um, when you pull this pump out, you can plug it into the wall, and if the fin starts spinning, then you know you're good. You know the pump is still working, like the actual uh, electric piece here is still working. Um, otherwise, if you're plugging it in, and that fan isn't spinning, even when it's outside of the unit, chances are it's it's gotten wet and there's some sort of corrosion in there that caused it to, uh, you know, the electronics to no longer work. So that's the gist of it. I hope this video helped and uh, good luck.